There were hints for months of big changes coming to Canada's International Aid Agency. Today's budget confirmed CEDA is being absorbed into foreign affairs. That's causing concern for the organizations that rely on CEDA to fund their aid projects, especially given what CBC News reported last fall about a shift at foreign affairs to more of a focus on trade. The CBC's Lori Graham broke that story and has tonight's developments. Lori. Wendy, that shift already had NGOs on edge. Today, another blow. For nearly five decades, CETA's priority has been to reduce poverty around the world. It partners with NGOs to provide aid and development money in some of the world's poorest countries, most recently Afghanistan and Haiti. But today, the Harper government merged CETA with Foreign Affairs, creating the Department of Foreign Affairs, Trade and Development. That set off alarm bells for aid groups, who now worry CETA's mandate of helping the poor will take a back seat to business. I think uh, we've seen the writing on the wall over the last uh, couple of years. Um, the government uh, recognizes that there's a wide range of interests, a range of economic interests, of political interests, of corporate interests, and these uh, have a bit of a history of trumping the interests of poverty reduction and the interests of poor people. The government has made no secret about wanting more accountability from CETA. In January, the minister responsible, Julian Fantino, questioned the work of some NGOs in Haiti and froze their funding. And last fall, a confidential draft copy of the government's foreign policy obtained by CBC News revealed a single-minded focus on trade in expanding markets of South America and Asia. The worry is that the, there might be more compelling interest to help the, uh, to support economic growth in places like Peru or Vietnam that doesn't in fact trickle down to the poor. But the government says that won't happen and it will continue to provide essential aid to developing countries. CETA was kind of the, the orphan um, and now it will be part of the mainstream of that, of that department. Still have, still have its own minister. The government says other countries have merged their development agencies with foreign affairs without a problem. But aid groups here say there's no indication those countries make trade their top priority. Wendy? Thanks, Laurie. Laurie Graham tonight.